time round, last second switch. It will be the Rumble for Huni, the champion that really accelerated him to fame in the European LCS. And Febbevin once again on LeBlanc. The Avarice Blade. Wow, Mark, you're this taking is... your head a little bit at this. The thing is, <laughs> is this a part of the meta bait? Because, hey, I've got an Avarice Blade. Uh, There's no way we're going to have a back. juggler down here. Oh, steal back. Does have flash, does have heal. Boomerang goes out. He manages to put the Terra Capacitor up, but Bengi sinks his fangs they in. Left That's a teleport from Moody <laughs> at level five. We'll see if Mario can answer, but a nice teleport down from Huni to pick that one up. Yeah. And SK Telecom, I really feel in both of these games, they haven't been playing around Huni very well. We saw that pretty poor gank up in the top side in the last game, and they're not respecting the play style of Fnatic and expecting Huni to come in, and they're getting punished for it. Right, Huni, who was able to shove up his wave before teleporting. It was a great time for him to go for this teleport. Uh-oh. Uh Oh, they're gonna think about diving. Yellow Star doesn't have his stun yet. They get the teleports out of Morin. The hook. That's the play backwards. Now Wolf is in trouble. Hootie's trying to get one in reply. He All gets right. the kill. He flashes out, but Morin flashes forward. Boomerang Blade slows him down. The equalizer's on the back line. Rainover unable to keep Morin in place. Long Star gets <laughs> caught out. And we're not going to get a chance to revisit him. Oh, no, come on! It's <laughs> visit me, Hooney. You talked about SKT playing around Hooney, and now they are doing it. Equalizer is down. It's Korean on Korean battle, and it's Hooney that wins! Hooney takes down Faker in a 2v1, and Fibbivin rolls four. That's a double kill for Hooney! And Ari is beatable! <laughs> <laughs> and why SKT is committing right here, and right over in the tri brush, they're going here comes Huni, the flame spit is on, and a three-man stun! Yellow Star holds SKT under the tower, steal back three, one and one, that's a double kill! Out of Began R form, I think you just leave this one alone, but they're gonna try and fight it. Marin is teleporting in, Death Sentence doesn't connect, Dragons down to 2,000, SKT are coming in close, Equalizer gets thrown down across all of oh. SKT, and Dragons still alive in the back line, Rainover's going low, but no kills in the fort, Bengi is being focused by four, and it's Feathervin that gets the kill, Hooney chunks down Wolf, and Morin about to go Mega Knot. He will transform, but as he flashes over the wall, teleports it in. Bengi's actually flashed in for this fight. Here comes Morin. Mega Knot getting close to popping, landing auto attack after auto attack. When he's Morin should chase shortly a steal back. He flashes forward. Position reversal. Massive distortion comes out. Bengi's low, fake is low, bang's low, but it's Wolf that's down. Mahuni has spawned and he's dropped the equalizer in the back line to drop Faker. Now Morin will be the next to fall as he throws the chimney, the house, and Rainover throws the barrel in a moment. That is a clean ace for Fnatic! Hoody! Hoody bites the bullet, takes the death without expending his ultimate or his flash, and they get an ace for it. That's going to be Baron as well. Yeah, and that lack of a, a respect for the death timer right there, continuing to go in for SK Telecom. Now it's going to be the the Baron for Fnatic. This is exactly what they need to actually close out this game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fnatic at their finest. When games are chaotic and aggressive, they... Four plays in the bottom. Fnatic is at everything their way. Well, Rainover gets caught out. Equalizer's available. Marin oh. does try to land the knob, but does not manage to connect. They find the kill onto Rainover, oh. and the Equalizer is melting SKT! Looking for more. Morin getting chunked out. Fnatic looking towards the Nexus Star. Rainover eats a death sentence, but I don't think it will matter. Bengi's down. Featherman is 10, 0, and 5. That's the win loss ratio of Faker. And they're going to be adding another one if Fnatic has anything to say about it. But SKT have defended the Nexus Star for now. Yellow Star has still not died on any support. One of the most dangerous supports to use. And he's been constantly flashing in for amazing stuns as well.
See whether or not he can get any more. 20 seconds for Bengi. Reynova eats another death sentence, but the Nexus Tower will get shredded. Next one is being focused, and SKT will be looking to lose the first map at the mid-season Invitational. Fnatic are now on to the Nexus. They are challenging the number one team from Korea as Huni's taken down. The Nexus will fall, and it's 1-1. Really well played. They got the fights they wanted. They used their composition properly to scrap it out in the early game. And SK Telecom falling apart, not having the patience to wait for when they were strong. Definitely a lot of uh, worrisome moments there from SK Telecom. Mechanical misplays, map movement misplays, a lot of things to